Hey guys, it's me again. Um, I just wanted to kind of do some update videos and I might do a couple of these about breakfast and cancer because I am back in radiotherapy and uh, that means early mornings for a while and usually we do some kind of breakfast afterwards. Um, so today what I've got is whole brain, radi whole brain radiation and breakfast burritos fr from is whole brain radiation and breakfast burritos from Jack in the Box. See that right there? That's the Meat Lovers Burrito from Jack in the Box. And let me just say that while Jack in the Box has good burgers, if you haven't checked out their breakfast menu, you need to because they have the some of the best breakfast burritos you're ever going to get. Um, the Meat Lovers Burrito is not tainted with potato at all. Now, I don't mind a little bit of hash browns in my breakfast burrito, but Pandora is, her opinion is that, um, that potato is taking up space that could otherwise be occupied by meat, eggs, or cheese. Hard to argue that point, but, you know, there you go. So I'm going to be digging into that in a minute, and I have a little bit of freshly strangled orange juice, um, which is also very good in the morning. Um, now, one of the things uh, I want to talk about today is radiation. Now, I don't remember where we left off last time, but I'm going to give you a brief history of my relationship with the radiation. Um, when I was, I start this whole thing started off with me having problems with my left shoulder and they decided radiotherapy was right for that. I also had gamma knife surgery in my brain last year, which is basically pinpointed radiation designed to just kind of hit the individual hot spots of tumors in my brain, which, um, you know, is was went very smoothly last year. I think I have a few vlogs about that. That was done down in Seattle at Harborview Medical Center in the Gamma Knife Clinic by Dr. Simon Lowe. Um, now, earlier this year, just to kind of get, do a quick catch up, I might do some more detail later on on this. Um, but, um, Back in January, about the end of near, around the middle of January, one of the tumors in my brain, around near my brain stem, um, started bleeding and the effects were like a stroke. So that was uh, quite an exciting trip to Seattle from Bellingham in an ambulance. Now, um, what they found was that there was an alarming number of new tumors that had popped up in my brain after they had me in the MRI machine there. Um, so they did gamma knife again that month, and then that's January in between then and last month, which was, I'm going to say March, I think the beginning of March, even more had popped up. So the tumors in my brain are increasing at an ever faster rate. Okay, so now you're caught up. Since I've also had general radiotherapy, non-gamma knife, just kind of fire hose radiotherapy is what I've been calling it, in both my shoulders by now. So my shoulders are getting better. Oh, this thing is not focusing the way I want it to. Um, and um, that means that they, what they want is whole brain radiation, which is instead of trying to just spot treat each individual tumor in my brain, they just take the fire hose to and just hose me down. Side effects being a reduction in my lush hairline, which is a little greasy right now, and maybe a little bit of a cognitive impact, which is, you know, that's okay because I'm really sexy with all my hair. I can afford to lose a little bit, and I'm quite a genius, so I can afford a little bit of cognitive loss. So that's all fine. That's going to go great. And let me do a shout-out to the people at the Bellingham Cancer Center, Cancer Care Clinic, in the radiotherapy department. Those nurses and technicians are the best. They are professional. They are fast. I Maybe I'll try and name them all, but I, Aaron... And his crew there are great. Um, they're professional. They're in and out. Um, today, my first of two weeks worth of appointments. Um, you know, I, I'm on the machine. I have this mask over my face. And I made a joke about looking like a Mexican wrestler. And I asked the lady, I was like, what, what's the most common dumb joke people make about being in this machine? And they're like, people don't make jokes when they're in this machine. I'm like, yeah, cancer, not funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, 
I'm doing everything I can to make cancer funny. <laughs> um, also, I recently made the decision to go back to work. Um, and we'll talk a bit, maybe a little bit about that on a separate video. And I also want to talk more about how shitty the healthcare system in America is. Okay. Um, so, yeah. My f today I had my first dose of whole brain radiation. So maybe I'll use these videos to document my eventual men mental decline. Um, and and now I'm going to eat this burrito and drink this orange juice. And um, if I can find my little tripod that I usually use, you can watch me do it. If not, you're lost.